Nothing is too wonderful to be true, if it be consistent with the laws of nature. The world little knows how many of the thoughts and theories which have passed through the mind of a scientific investigator have been crushed in silence and secrecy by his own severe criticism and adverse examination. Express a wish that you may, in your generation, be fit to compare to a candle, that you may, like it, shine as lights to those about you, that, in all your actions, you may justify the beauty of the taper by making your deeds honourable and effectual in the discharge of your duty to your fellow men. Magnetic lines of force convey a far better and purer idea than the phrase magnetic current or magnetic flood. It avoids the, it avoids the assumption of a current or of two currents and also of fluids or a fluid, yet conveys a full and useful pictorial idea to the mind. It is on record that when a young aspirant asked Faraday the secret of his success as a scientific investigator. He replied, the secret is comprised in three words, work, finish, publish. I happen to have discovered a direct relation between magnetism and light, also electricity and light, and the field it opens is so large and I think rich. I propose to distinguish these bodies by calling those anions which go to the anode of the decomposing body and those passing to the cathode, cations. And when I have occasion to speak of these together, I shall call them ions. Physicist is both to my mouth and ear so awkward that I think I shall never use it. The equivalent of three separate sounds of I in one word is too much. Although we know nothing of what an atom is, yet we cannot resist forming some idea of a small particle, which represents it to the mind. There is an immensity of facts which justify us in believing that the atoms of matter are in some way endowed or associated with electrical powers to which they owe their most striking qualities and amongst them their mutual chemical affinity.